Hello well, everybody, welcome to the latest episode of Taff on Route. Um, I'm not in the car as you can see, uh, I'm actually in the bar at Cheltenham. As it was such a short drive, didn't really have the time to uh, prepare and record this, so I just thought I'd do it up here, you know, for the change. You know, we all like surprises, don't we? And um, I've got some very special guests who are going to get involved on this one as well, so uh, we'll get to them in a minute. But Cheltenham at home, back to winning ways, we obviously beat uh, Colchester 2 0 last time, eight, And um, we were facing against an ex player who wanted to beat us then in Frank Newley. Today, Ben Toza wants to beat us, so uh, let's hope we can give him the Newley treatment this afternoon. Uh, we're looking like we're going to play a strong team. Players are coming back from injury, so things are looking quite good at the moment, I've got to be fair. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around to our first guest, and then uh, after I've talked to all three people that I want to speak to, um, we'll turn it back to me and we'll wrap things up. So, uh, on to the first, we're going to go to Pidgey. Here we go, here's Pidgey, and as you can see, he's, uh, he's boozing again. I'm sure, Pidgey, your, your liver's going to be the same colour as Billy Zat by now. <laughs> But um, anyway, to get to the important things then, uh, Newport County versus Charlton of the day. Uh, so, what do you think? Well, first of all, what, what do you think? How do you think the game's going to go today? And what do you think about our current form? Do you think we're turning a corner after last week's win? At the moment, we are playing excellent football. We're still third in the table. Yeah. And today, I think we beat the three one. We win three one today. So a score, uh, well, a score. Of both teams to score and County to win, as it tends to happen an awful lot, I suppose. It's always a good, uh, always a good bet for County for both teams to score, I suppose. But um, who do you think is going to be the star man today then? I'm hoping Crofty might come on. Crofty. I know he's on the bench, but I want to see him come on. And is he? Is he actually on the bench? Then? Is he? Do you know that? No, oh, that's why you heard. I don't know. You've heard that he could be on the bench today. Yeah, but well, I want him. I hope to so. He's a good player. He's, Otherwise, uh, he'd be having to win it. I mean, he's he's, a, he's an international player, obviously a player with bags of experience at a higher level, so uh, we've been dying to see what he can offer us at this level, I suppose. So, um, Labardi, do you think Labardi might be in for a shake for uh, an appearance today? Where it has it, I, I thought there'd be another week or two until we see him, but a lot of people seem to believe that uh, we, we, we could expect to see him sometime soon. So you think today could be that day? Oh, but it'd be Wrexham next week. You know. yeah, I hope he's ready for Wrexham, absolutely. <laughs> that would be absolutely great. So we're talking about Wrexham, what do you make of that draw then yourself? I think it's a cracking draw. Yeah. We can beat them, eh? Yeah. No, absolutely. Let's get back to the third round again. Third round again? And uh, where are you going to be for the third round? In Benodome. Benodome. Mm. And if we win, if we get a good team yep. away, I will be flying back. You'll be flying back if we get a good team. What if we get a shit team? Are you still going to fly back? No. <laughs> oh, she only come to the big games then, do you? No, oh, come on, come on Pidgey. You know, you know better than that, mate. 50 quid, as I just said, you could spend 50 quid on beer within a couple of hours. Surely you can jump on a flight and get back no matter who we play. Enjoy your boozing, mate. Have a good day. Thank you for talking to me. Here comes old Billy now, the next one. So, uh, pretty much the same sort of questioning as uh, what Pidgey on your left hand side just had. Cheltenham today, how do you think we'll get on? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's a team that they might be dedicated to. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to have a couple of... Uh, well, I think they're going to win 4-5-0. 4-5-0? But I know it's ambitious. Players, and I don't think that it's capable. So I, I, I'd go for like 2-1, 3-1. Yeah, you take that. But the pitch is not very good at all. No, so we don't think we're going to be able to play some good football today. It's going to be um, a battle. Yeah. Yeah. We got Dolan, this car coming good because he was running. Yeah. And like, at the end of the day, we've got the video of Franks. To me, Franks is magnificent. Yeah. And when we get when we get Lavity back mm. and Croft, and a meal match, you know, our reserves are first team players. Yeah. Do you think he's put a good squad together then? I think he's got a practice squad. Yeah. Absolutely. John Paul, I'm with me, mate. Hey, up your John Paul. 
<laughs> and sod toza. <laughs> sod toza. <laughs> oh, Phil's here. Phil, you may as well get involved. One of the old favourites from Taff on Route. Yeah. So, what do you what do you think we're going to do today then? How eh? do you think we're going to get on? I think it's going to be three nil. Three nil. So. My mate Frank and Margaret's boyfriend is going to score and hammer them. Yep. Absolutely. And I think they're going to get it done quickly. Mm. Score a few goals for us and then just play around. Absolutely, it sounds great. Well, I hope it goes down the way you're saying, guys. Um, but then, sorry, if, if, I think if we score quickly, three goals, uh, we'll put seven on it. Well, you know, we'll hammer it. There's Cheltenham on. one at all, mm -hmm. and even their away matches are not that good. So they yeah. won the last six matches away. Yeah, but I still they end up yeah. Yeah, but uh, they've been lucky. Don't care what they do, it's what we do. Yeah. If we do what so, we do properly, we shall win. Yeah, I agree. If, 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 we we play play, like, if we play like we played against the old world, we'll get out of Everywhere we go. So, everywhere we go. We can beat them. Everywhere we go. We're the new pop boys making all the noise. Everywhere we go. There you go. <laughs> It's the old, you, all, all, all the old sods, all the old sods are in a merry mood. So if the old sods are in a merry mood, who knows what the young ones are going to be like? So uh, Wrexham, Wrexham next week, guys. I want to, I want to get your thoughts on that. Mm. Listen, it's late at night. They're not good. They're daytime players, not night players. Mm. We're the bats. We're going to win then, yeah. The third round beckons. No, uh, or, no doubt of it. Or on, or on the flip side, would you like to see us draw there and take them back back down to uh, Ronnie Parade and beat them there? Well, make them more money. No, but for the way, money. No, but sorry, in a way, no, because we're still in the checker team. You know, we're still, you know, in another club. Yeah. We haven't got the greatest of squads. We've got a great squad, but we're not point. a big squad. But at the end of the day, we don't need all these games. No. It's going to kill the players, isn't it? Fair enough. Fair point. Well presented. I'd rather have them win there against Wrexham and just go into the next round. Fair one, mate. And I want well, Liverpool next one. Yeah, at Anfield, of course. <laughs> Let's fill the place up. Let's fill the place up full of county, you know. Even in the old end. But, um, yeah. Nice one. Thanks for talking to me, guys. All of it. All of it. So then on reflection then, um, everybody seems to think that we're going to do well today. Um, it's, uh, what can I say? Um, it's a game we don't tend to win that often, but I don't think we've lost here either. To be honest with you, um, I think we've had three draws and one win in our seasons here. I mean, obviously they had a season eight of the, the Football League, but then they came straight back. Um, the famous 1-1 uh, draw during the Great Escape. Um, it wasn't during the Great Escape actual campaign, it was one of the last games of Wesley, of course, when we got that draw here. Um, obviously we had one of our, well, one of our more, more favourite favorited videos. Um, comes from. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to see scenes like that again today, to be honest with you. But then, um, to be honest, I just want to take three points. Three points. Can't you go 800 plus strong? Um, you know, take it over as we always do. Uh, we'll take over the grounds, you know, we'll, we'll raise the, the noise levels, we'll give the players the best advantage we can. So let's see if we can go there and repay it in kind um, with a win. Um, also, um, I hope that in the 50th minute we give a great uh, tribute to Tugboat as well. And uh, for those of you going to Wrexham next week, I'll see you there. And um, as always, up the county. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheerio for now. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed. And as always, up the county.